All right, let's break down what we know. In a state that split 55 to 45 Republicans to Democrats, Ohio Republicans would hold on to 60% or more of the seats in the legislature under this newly drawn map. Christian Hauser tells us when it could go into effect and what might also keep that from happening. University of Cincinnati political science professor David Niven studies gerrymandering. He stayed up late to see if the Ohio Redistricting Commission would be able to approve a new legislative map. It did, but the map passed along party lines, five to two Republicans. They can actually win a strong majority in the legislature without actually getting a majority of the votes. The commission consists of four representatives picked by the majority and minority leaders in each house, along with Governor DeWine, Secretary of State Frank LaRose, and Auditor Keith Faber, all of which are Republicans. Jen Miller, executive director of the League of Women Voters Ohio, says they are very disappointed in the results. That hurts everybody. When maps are rigged, lawmakers don't have to listen to us. Political parties don't have to listen to us. Miller's not the only one. Governor DeWine and Secretary of State LaRose both say they are not happy with the map or the process, but ultimately they voted yes to the new gerrymandered map. DeWine's office sent this statement defending his yes vote despite opposing the map. Governor DeWine has expressed his disappointment that no path remained possible for a 10-year bipartisan map. That being said, a constitutional deadline remained to pass a map, and the commission had a responsibility to meet that obligation, especially with no alternative paths to a 10-year map, even if the deadline was missed. So essentially, he's saying something needed to pass no matter what, and they weren't going to come up with something that everyone could agree with. I called and emailed LaRose's office, but so far, no one has gotten back with me. This map will be challenged in court, and because of the constitutional amendment that was passed a few years ago, Ohio has a fairness standard that must be met for redistricting. New maps must give seats proportionally to how people voted over the past decade. That gives Republicans about a 54 to 46 percent advantage. These newly created maps are projected to give Republicans representation in the 60 plus percentage range. Next up is the U.S. congressional map. The Ohio congressional map is an extraordinary uh, document. Um, it retires undefeated. Over 10 years, not a single seat changed hands from Democrats to Republicans. Didn't matter the election, didn't matter whether it was a presidential year, good year for Democrats, good year for Republicans, the exact same outcome year after year. The state lost a congressional seat, so no matter what, the map must change. But fair election advocates worry a similar gerrymandered map will be created as well. For Local 12 News, I'm Christian Hauser. Because the maps were not unanimously agreed upon, they will need to be redrawn in four years. But before they can go into effect, they will be challenged in Ohio's Supreme Court.